So I just seen on Fox News that apparently 2020 has not been the best of years. And if your brain's like mine, it's blocked out most of it. So in case you need a refresher, here's 2020 in a nutshell. 2020 pretty much started out as one thing and has been one thing the entire year. And that's the coronavirus, the COVID-19, the Corolla virus, the Crayola virus, the canola virus, or as I like to call it, the Corona-19, a barely legal cold at best. Coronavirus sounds like a great value version of the flu to me and because of the virus the government is telling everybody to wear masks and people that do wear masks you are sheep and people that don't wear masks me say it's tyranny and because of the virus everybody's got to stay home and those that do stay home you are sheep and the ones that don't stay home say it's tyranny because all we want to do all we want to do is go to Chili's and get an $8 haircut. And if you could see my wife's hair, you'd agree with me. And because of the virus, everything's canceled. Aunt Jemima, football, basketball, baseball, movies, my birthday, your birthday, school, work. But never fear, because we ain't got to go to work no more. Because my president, and still your president, by the way, Donald J. Trump sent us $1,200 Donny dollars. 1200 Trump bucks to spend however we like. And it's a good thing we got all this free time sitting inside the house because that's all we do now is talk to our friends on a thing called Zoom. Everything's done remotely. You go to school remotely. You go to work remotely. If I had a job, I'd be going remotely. And people just can't wait to reach out and loop you in and circle back. But enough about that. Let's put a pin in that topic for now. And the presidency of these United States, the greatest country on this flat earth, is being fought for and defended by unhappy Gilmore himself, my spray tan in chief, and still your tangerine savior, by the way, and it feels good to say that, Donald J. Trump. And he's taking on Sleepy Joe Biden, a.k.a. Grandpa Smell Your Hair, a.k.a. Daddy Long Hugs, a.k.a. Uncle No Boundaries. It's pretty much two 70-year-olds calling each other old, and one is a traffic cone with a wig that he spent $70,000 on, and the other is the old man puppet from Jeff Dunham. Joe Biden ended up stealing the election by getting more votes they were missing Trump ballots everywhere, allegedly. You know, in the creek, in the river, the lake, other names for bodies of water. If you look in the lake, you'll find my boat and them Trump ballots. And they also hit him in Rudy Giuliani's pants. There was a press conference at a landscaping company for some reason, and Rudy's hair started leaking. It was so bad. You know, they, they took the case to the Supreme Court, the People's Court, the Food Court, Melania's Tennis Court, and through all this, Trump said he wasn't going to leave. He was like Leo DiCaprio in that movie where he played the Wolf of Wall Street. I don't remember what the movie's called, but he was a wolf on Wall Street, and Trump was like, I'm not fucking leaving, and you better not bleep me again, motherfucker. And the whole time this is going on, we got murder hornets and wildfires and hurricanes and ramps, fake news, Andrew Cuomo's nipples, Elon Musk named his son something, and UFOs and racial riots and Shakira, J-Lo and them kulos. Kim Jong-un died and then he didn't. He's like Schrodinger's dictator and Antifa wanted to tear down every statue. They probably want to tear down that show Gargoyles from Disney Plus and the Proud Boys are too out of shape to pass a military physical and they got too many DUIs so now they got to prance around looking like a great value call of duty and the mail's not safe until November 4th. I couldn't find any hand sanitizer. You couldn't find any hand sanitizer. Bill Gates and Pfizer and Funky Cold Moderna wanted to microchip everybody with a vaccine. Hunter Biden had a very bad, really bad, no good, dirty, rotten laptop 
It was so bad they didn't even release any of it. I got the truck reflagged and joined a Trump parade, which is like a parade, but instead of candy, we just throw out pocket constitutions and Bibles. People were skateboarding to Fleetwood Mac and drinking cranberry juice. Cardi B had a wet ass. I'd rather not say because it's disgusting. And, and my boat, the SS Margaritaville, sank in Lake Travis. R.I.P. baby girl, I miss you every day. I know she's at the great bottom of the lake in the sky. And the whole thing was predicted by QAnon through an intricate system of Mad Libs and Magic 8 Balls. And the whole time that was going on, we just laughed it up at a gay, redneck, polygamous tiger owner who tried to kill that bitch, Carol Baskin who probably killed her own husband, and we just laughed and laughed till he went to jail and she was dancing with the stars on ABC. So today, I'm raising my emotional support beer to you people, and I do mean you people, for even making it through 2020. So here's to you. Now get off my... <laughs> get off my property. <laughs>